Welcome to whiskey.com, where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taste of whiskey.com. And today we have a, a old bottle here in my cask. It's a Glenrothes, vintage 1978. So this is quite old. But who thinks this bottle now contains whiskey, which is 29 years old, uh, 39 years old? No, not. Um, this was bottled already in 2008. So this bottle was is a leftover from well from some weird storage, probably forgotten, lost somewhere. And uh, typically, Glenrothes has three uh, dates on the label. The first is the date of distillation. It's November the third, nineteen seventy-eight. Then the uh, date of the bottling, uh, no, the selection, where they select the casks, put them together in casks for, well, a marriage of those different casks. And this was January 7th, 2008. And this one was bottled in 2008. If this marriage date is somewhere later in the year, then from time to time, um, the bottling date uh, jumps over the year's boundary and they bottle the next year and I've seen a bottle where they jumped over one or two years over two years I think yeah so uh, there are three dates on the label and the the intermediate date is typically the approval date when the cask was selected for marriage so this is the difference and here on the label is said character rich vanilla fruit compote intense spice this is 1978 in these years nearly all sherry cast in scotland came from spain from spanish wood from spanish oak and this european oak is a lot more intense than the american white oak but typically the ex bourbon casks come over um, and here we have spanish oak this intense spicy tending to bitterness, those casks. Yeah. Look into that bottle. A little fruitiness, not too strong. This whiskey has only 43% ABV. Uh, this was a time where uh, people weren't used to higher ABVs in whiskey for their own dilution. No, they bottled the standard stuff at 40 and the better one at 43 and that was all. So, there have been already some distilleries uh, which bottled uh, with the 46 but not many. <sighs> Very intense. Intense vanilla note. A old fruitiness. Dried plums, no, these these round dried fruit which, which are sold in a ring. I, I think that they are figs, and the the plums are sold in in plastic bags. Those sugary, sticky to your fingers, well, <laughs> but tasting good. Officially, some floral notes, but but no, not yet. The spiciness coming through from the casks. Yeah. And vanilla. Very complex, very ripe, very mature. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm hmm. Okay, at first, weak, close to watery. Then aroma builds up and then spiciness kicks in, peppery, yeah. And an oiliness, white chocolate. And then 
well, moving over to spiciness, little bitterness, darker chocolate, black chocolate. Yeah, Ooh, the aftertaste is really, really okay. Uh, full voluminous and in the end, a little sweet. So we do not have this dry oakiness, which quite often is unpleasant, but this one is a sweet oakiness, which is wonderful. Yeah. So the price of this bottle might be around 200, 250. So I have no idea. So this is one of the, well, our residual somewhere left in a warehouse found again. It's, a, it's an original one. I opened it myself and there's this original capsule on top. So this is, is a real one, even when it's lacking uh, the typical packaging of Glenrothes. Perhaps it was an excess bottling where they did not have enough of tubes or this former card boxes with the ashtray, this aluminum ashtray below. Wonderful piece of work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The second time, the second sip, the taste builds up on the first. So there's not this first second of watery uh, feeling. No, it's immediately present. The spiciness builds up in my mouth. There's this dark fruitiness in it and this lightly sweet bitter aftertaste from the Spanish oak. A real wonderful work. Uh, the chances that you find such a bottle somewhere mm, is quite low. Yeah, wonderful work. Uh, thank you for watching. There's more to come as always. And from time to time, I try not to have those extreme expensive bottles here in my cast. So the next one will be cheaper and more affordable. Thank you very much for watching.